a very good morning friends and welcome to my channel and today topic is going to be very very interesting and I hope you are going to enjoy and you are going to learn a lot from this particular chapter this is my one of the favorite topic in cucumber because I faced a lot of issues while resolving this particular thing and I thought let's to share with everyone so that if you are also facing such kind of issues so please please just uh, listen to this particular session for half an hour and I hope your problem will get resolved in few minutes okay so the topic is this suppose let's say you have two projects okay a and B so uh, let's say if some particular person has already written a lot of code a lot of features and step definition and project a and you have assigned a different task uh, and you need to use a lot of features from project A okay but you need to create your own project you don't want to disturb the project A structures or a code okay you are just you what you want is you want to utilize the features file of project A and you want to write your own and one more thing you want to use the data generated by the project A okay and you want to do something on that particular data okay so this is something about that so how we can do that and at the end we will see how we can upload our jars to the nexus repository okay this is a bit unusual but yeah this is a very very practical i have faced and passed this kind of uh, problem and i am able to I'm lucky to am able to solve that but it took a lot of time it's a kind of POC I have done so I let's I want to share that knowledge and the experience with you guys okay okay let's start so to to explain I have created two demo project okay the first one is the cucumber alpha the second one is the cucumber beta okay some other guy has read let's assume some other team have written this particular project cucumber alpha okay this is completely different they have written let's say a lot of feature files they have written a lot of data uh, they have that team is working from many months let's say okay and they have huge data with them okay and now your task is to use those all those features okay and you need to write some other feature based on that okay so you can utilize those features and you can write so the one option could be you can directly copy paste all their data or you can go directly clone it and you can start coding inside their project but it's it will be unnecessary mess and if suppose you don't have the x or let's say you it's a different team so it's not feasible to write your code inside their project right and it will be foolishness to just copy and paste all their data inside your project right so that's going to be duplicate duplication of the code right so to avoid all these things we have a very 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 clean solution okay which i'm going to tell you in this particular chapter okay so before that let's uh, let's first understand the architecture of the project a alpha okay which we are going to use in cucumber beta project okay so see uh, uh, on this topic I have, if you haven't watched the previous uh, 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 topic uh, so just go through that uh, otherwise you can just continue here okay uh, it's okay so see these are the feature file two feature file present in uh, project a alpha okay so this see what we are doing here so user is opening some particular shopping site which is uh, let's say a flip card user enters some login credential user password user search for some shoes with the given amount okay and then user made the payment that's it so my scenario finished till the payment has been done okay so some order id will get generate okay and that's it so this is my uh, test case okay 
in the scenario 2 in the feature file 2 what I have written so you are logging into the Amazon you, user open the Amazon site and user enter the login credential that's it so my features let's say finish here okay so only this much now uh, your task is you need to work on the delivery dispatch and all this thing okay so for that so you cannot write anything here because this is somebody else project okay so you need to create another project you need to run all the steps because before doing dispatch you have to do all this thing you have to open a site you have to log in it first then you have to search some product then you have to made some payment then you have to look for the delivery and the dis, uh, delivery of the product to the end customer right so your part is actually at the end but before prior to that you have to use all these steps okay so this is the problem statement if you are going to write the complete scenario yourself so it's going to be a very very uh, headache for you and uh, right you have to completely do the engineering yourself but uh, so better to utilize their project in a smarter in a smarter way right so let's see how we can do that uh, let me open the step file for this particular project so if we go to the step file you can see user open flipkart and we have added some sys out here we have added the thread thread name okay you can skip this particular part so all there are different different sys out okay so login uh, user and password i am printing this in the step two user and password then here user search for shoes with x amount so this amount is coming here and i printed it okay okay so we are going to change all this thing in the next project just uh, uh, bear with me for the time being and in the last step user purchased and made the payment see here what uh, Okay, so some says out. Okay, so forget about this particular code as of now. Okay, I will come to here later on. So there are some says out and there are four steps, right? So my problem statement, I need to use all this data in a, another project, right? Fine. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, let me run this particular project. Okay let's see if it is working or not okay so i'm removing the amazon okay let me run only the flip card cases uh, please note this is the latest updated statement we assume we are using the latest cucumber not the older one so latest one is the io.cucumber just make sure you're using the latest cucumber not the pro up uh, old one which is info.qx okay so see this particular project which is older uh, which is project a is working absolutely fine you can see fk step one uh, run by this particular thread and here 1000 this uh, unit has been printed here in step three and in step four uh, user purchased and made the payment. Okay, so we have printed all the sys out. Login credential uh, has been printed here. Okay, FK user, FK password. So everything is working fine, right? So, fine. Now, the main problem is how to utilize this. Okay, so this is our Cucumber Beta. This is the new project. Okay, so let me uh, let me show you first what I have written here. Uh, there are the feature file reuse dot feature. See what I have written. I am in beta project. This is my this is my code. This beta project code. Okay, I have not copied this particular line. So all these lines. Okay, all these particular lines uh, uh, has been copied from project A. C look here user open the flip card user enter the flip card login credential and here i have changed the login credential okay so you can change your data in next project okay this is important thing okay uh fine so here again user search for 
5000 unit shoes okay so look we have again changed earlier we have given 1000 now this time i am giving 5000 right so again to just to show you that we can change the data in new project we can just reuse the existing lines but we can play with the data data will be mine okay so this is uh, my project okay the uh, beta one okay the beta beta project is the second cucumber beta is the second project on which we are working right and uh, cucumber alpha is the previous project which other teams are working on okay so we are utilizing the features of cucumber alpha into the cucumber beta i hope the situation is clear to you i'm just repeating this thing again and again so that it will be clear to you okay then the okay so user purchased and made the payment user dispatched given order id see this again the last line is my line okay this beta project line here what i have done user dispatch the given order id so what is the given order id we don't know the order id in the second project right so what we are doing the order id is getting generated in the project a here if you go again back to the project a look here i am in cucumber alpha look go here and the last step user purchased and made the payment okay here look here some, some this is the method okay some random method which is generating your order id whenever a user is doing the payment some order id will get generated right so i hard coded here just to show you that so this is the project a okay alpha project here this particular order id has been generated now we you have to do the dispatchment of this particular order okay so but you have to do the dispatch meant in the second project but this order is generated in the project a okay hope the situation is clear to you right fine so so we need to pass this particular order id to the second project also so there are two conditions we need to reuse the feature files and we need to pass this particular order id too so that we can dispatch in another project right So let's go to there again. See, look the step file of the beta step definition. It is very simple. There are only two steps. I am in beta project and user dispatch the given order ID. Okay. So here somehow we are fetching the order ID from the project A. I will show you slowly, step by step. Okay. So don't get uh, confused how I have uh, fetched it okay so we will fetch it from the project a and we will do the dispatch of order we will call this particular method which handle the uh, uh, delivery of the order and we are passing here order id and you can we are printing the sys out here order id has been dispatched okay okay guys so first step we will uh, take the approach of the jar okay we will make the jar of the project one and we will pass it to the project b automatically we are not going to upload or uh, do it manually okay all the jar will be created and the second project will pick it automatically okay we'll see how Whew. so fine the first one is we need to create the jar okay i will show you so here it's a cucumber alpha project c target there are two jars i'm deleting them okay so i have deleted both the jars okay so this is the cucumber alpha so let's first generate the jar so how to generate the jar okay so see there is a maven jar plugin okay so you need to add this particular plugin and you need to run uh, this particular command is packaging okay maven clean package okay so let me show you open the palm.xml of project alpha let's close other so it's become clumsy look here uh, dependency these are the normal dependency look at here it's a cucumber java cucumber j unit j unit it's a normal one it is for the reporting ignore it uh, compiler ignore it again this is for parallel 
see I'm talking about this so maven jar plugin so you need to add this particular plugin here okay so this plugin will make sure that whatever the code present in your test package will be added into the test jar okay so that's why we have written here test hyphen jar okay so to understand to uh, let me clarify you again so see there are four folder right in the maven one two three four so two are from the main and two other test so sometimes you are writing some codes in the main right so that all the code which is written in the main will go into the jar one okay i will show you and whatever the code you have written in these tests it will go into the uh, jar 2 which is called the test jar okay so in my case like i have added all my code in the test uh, folders so that's why i need to add this particular plugin which will make sure that test jar will also get generated okay and to package it we need to run uh, uh, package command okay so come here maven clean package okay so i will show you this particular command will generate the two jar here inside the target folder okay so let 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 the command get finished uh, see here you can see here building jar okay so path is coming here see look at here uh, inside the target see cucumber alpha target cucumber alpha hyphen test see look at here hyphen test okay so this is our test jar okay and this is our normal jar cucumber alpha 001 snapshot this is normal jar and this is the test jar so two jar has been generated should have been generated here so let me open this particular folder open the target and see i have deleted these two jars just now and these has been regenerated okay so if you see the uh, space uh, uh, this is 3 kb and this is 6 kb because we don't have any code inside this jar we have all the code is inside this jar right so it's of 6 kb okay so these jar have all the code right okay so uh one more thing so till now this is clear right so we have generated the jar using this particular plugin that's it okay all this code is for reporting and all this thing so i have already discussed all this thing in the previous chapter just uh, refer that chapter to understand what all this if you want to run the parallel and if you want to generate the reports etc that everything has been covered in the previous chapter okay so till that uh, till this it is clear right so jar has been generated for the current project what next now we need to run this particular command maven clean install okay so it will make sure that it will the jar will be deployed in your m2 repo okay so there is m2 repo for maven if it you are using maven so there is a dot m2 folder everybody know right so we need to make sure that our jars are present there okay i will show you my m2 folder this is the m2 also okay, this is the group id i have given to my project so inside the group id there's an artifact id which is cucumba alpha if you are giving the same name so it will be cucumba alpha cucumba alpha okay it's depend upon you inside this particular folder see there are two jars okay so let me delete them so that we'll see if they are getting regenerated or not okay i have deleted both the jars from m2 repo let's go back here and now i'm going to run maven clean install okay so these jar will get refreshed see it's a 4:48 pm right just wait for one minute All the test has been passed successfully and let me read this particular message what they have written see what it is installing installing this particular jar to m2 repo see they are giving the path of the m2 dot m2 repository the path is coming here right so message is clearly showing that both the jar 
this one in the test jar has been copied to the m2 folder let's go to the m2 and open it again see new jars has been generated with 451 means which is the latest one and here also new jar will get generated with latest time 451 right the previous one is 446 or 448 right whatever okay friends so now till now it is clear right the jar has been created here and the same jar has been copied to your project inside the m2 folder okay till now it is clear right so now your code has been reached till here okay fine uh, hope i am going on a uh, slow pace and it is not confusing just you try from your side i hope uh, then it will be uh, clear to you okay now what next we need to do see now you create and now create a new project okay cucumber beta now the first step which you need to do open the XML of the new project. Let me close the other files here. The most important, these are the normal dependency which you have added. Okay, just ignore all this dependency. See, this is the most important thing which we need to discuss here. You need to add these two dependencies. What the dependencies are? We are uh, saying to the palm.xml that you import the jar which is present in this particular group id and this is the artifact id and this is the version and this is scope is test and type is test jar okay so we are importing the test jar and we are importing the normal jar okay so i have written all the dependency even though in our case this particular dependency is not required because there is no code in the main package but still add both the dependency okay so if some code is there in the main so it will be uh, used in our project okay so these are the two dependency which you need to add in the second project which is cucumber beta okay so if you want to see what i have written here you need to open the alpha uh, palm.xml cucumber alpha c uh, here if you see see what is the group id group id is bdd i have written the same here bdd right group id what is the artifact id is cucumber alpha we have written the same cucumber alpha here right so all this thing you have to make sure that everything is correct and there's no spelling mistake or anything okay then only it will work okay so this is clear we have added the dependency here okay one more step one more thing you need to do go to the new runner which is the second project runner uh, cucumber beta runner go here and add the glue path of alpha project class path dot parallel this is the path okay so this is normal path a step def see i will show you in the cucumber beta <coughs> this is my runner okay inside this is my runner right and this is the step def see the package name is step def here i have written step def okay and in the alpha uh, cucumber alpha uh, look at where are the step files step files are present inside the parallel package so that you need to give here this is very important otherwise it will not work so you need to tell that where are your step file okay so jar will be present inside if you go here uh, maven dependencies here if you open the maven dependencies of second project at the bottom you can see cucumber alpha is present here okay so automatically jar has been imported by cucumber because see uh, both of the projects are present in m2 if you go here it's a it's a second one it's the first one and second one is uh, cucumber beta so we'll see okay uh, it will get created okay so let me close it and let me run it okay uh, open the feature file only these two steps you have to do let me see if there is uh, if, uh, if there is any other step i have written here so we have done we have done this to upload okay 
I think that's it. Okay, and uh, let me check here if I have written anything here. So I have written here all the steps, basically Maven clean install, uh, we run on the Cucumber Alpha and glue code uh, of the uh, Cucumber Alpha glue code uh, has been uh, added inside the Cucumber Beta's glue code like this here parallel. Then I have, in, I already told you about the dependencies which you need to add. Then feature from the Cucumber Alpha can be copy pasted there, data in the center can be changed. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else is required. So we have already run the uh, install command here. All the jar has been added into the M2. Now let me run Cucumber Beta. Okay, so Beta 1, this is the tag uh, I have given here. C beta one I am I have added here and I am running this particular scenario in normal case it will not run because there is no layer through which you are accessing the data but right now we have added we have added the jars we have added the uh, step file glue code and we have added the dependencies okay we have done three things now let me run and see the magic uh, cucumber beta okay so we are running here till verify it's enough we'll see the report part also in the second project okay the build has been success and see beta user and the beta password we have changed the data right i will show you once again see the beta user and the beta password earlier in the previous project it was different see it was fk user and the fk password but now in the second project we have changed it and if you see there are in the previous project it was 1000 unit right but in the second one in the reuse dot feature it's 5000 so look at the output it's 5000 right so the latest data is coming here and the order ID has been dispatched. Look at here, FK order ID has been dispatched. Okay, so uh, we have passed the data. So this is one more trick which we have used. So this is clear, right? These four steps, we have reused these four steps, right? Everything is running as per the previous project, but with the new data, which I have given in the new project. Okay, so uh, let me show you how to pass the data. Okay, see what I have written here. I have created a class called uh, data and I have created a global hash map. You can see a map, string, string, global hash map, and the uh, we have initialized with the hash map. So we have added here getter and setter. Okay, everything is static. Just look at this particular class. Okay, it's a simple POJO class and we have declared a global hash map here. Okay, so get global data map and set global map okay get a setter for this okay fine so now suppose you need to pass uh, order id to the next project so what you can do this is one of the solution there can be a number of solution but which i like the most is let's say uh, you call this particular some random method which return some order id okay let me change uh, name here just to show you that uh, new or id 555 okay i just added here right now okay in front of you okay this is a new order id and uh, this this is the order id right so i call the map data dot get global map i call the getter here i added my latest order id here okay and i set it i call the setter so that particular map has been initialized this particular map has been initialized with the latest and right now i am in the alpha alpha project okay see this is in the cucumber alpha okay so right now the team which is working remotely they have done this particular thing okay so now our task is to reuse fetch this particular data in my project in the new one okay so let me first in the go to the alpha so we have changed the code so we need the latest jar otherwise the latest code will not come okay so let's run this particular 
command maven clean install so it will generate the new jar with the new code it will install in the m2 and from the project b we will fetch it okay okay so this particular uh, project has run successfully the project a alpha okay fine so now go to the project b and simply run the command that's it it will everything will be automatically we don't need to do anything we just change the data we run it install it and the second project is will take the latest charge jars automatically from the m2 repo and you can see look here the fk order id new order id 555 we have just given it okay so this order has been received by the project b so how look here let me let close everything go to the project b uh, beta step definition close it okay so this is our uh, step right user dispatched given already we have written in our new project right this is our last uh, line uh, if i show you reuse dot feature here so this is our own line okay we have written it uh, look here what we have called data dot get global we are accessing the class which is present in the project a right so go to the imports look at here parallel dot data okay in our project there is no package whose name is parallel look at here there is nothing right so our class is calling parallel dot data from cucumber alpha okay so so this project know everything about alpha a okay so there is no error if you just uh, look here if you if you are just i will show you look data dot see getter and setter everything is coming here okay and see this is the magic of using jars and everything if i, I click on this particular it's directly moved to the new project okay like that okay so we are calling the getter inside this map has the data and we using the key which is which has been saved in that project fk dot order id key has been fetched using the global hash map and we have passed that particular uh, value in our own method which is working on the dispatch so yeah so hope this is clear how we are playing with the data from project a to b using the dependencies jar and all this thing right right friends so let me know if this is you are not clear because i know this is uh, uh, hodgepodge is going on and it's very i tried my best to explain you uh, but yeah still if uh, you're not clear just please uh, put your questions in the comment section okay so i i'm hoping that everything is clear to you and the next topic is uh, let's uh, talk about on that uh, the next topic is uploading jar to nexus okay so this is a separate topic so but i think we can it's a small topic so we can include uh, here only so if you have to upload so there are two three things which you need to do the first one open the xml of the project a okay so it's nothing related now now this topic is nothing related to the project a and b okay it's a, a normal topic so you have only one project and you want to upload your jars automatically to nexus that's it close other see here you need to add this thing okay so here the build uh, tag finished after the build tag see you need to add the distribution management tag here here's a snapshot repository you need to give the id of the nexus snapshot here okay prior to that you need to install the nexus 
in your laptop or in some some server so i install the nexus locally on my laptop so that's why all the address url will be local but but in your uh, case the uh, the company must have provided some nexus repo so you can use the url from there okay so that's it only these two things and uh, one more thing uh, there is a setting.xml you need to open the set you need to open the setting.xml so setting is dot xml is all, always present in the conf folder so here uh, you need to go where your maven has been installed so inside the maven there is a folder conf see there is a bin boot conf go inside the conf there is a setting.xml open it in a notepad okay so let me open a normal notepad Ooh, open with notepad uh, go here this section it is uh, it initially it will be commented you need to uncomment it so you need to enter here id username it's if you install if you are installing nexus uh, by your own uh, so it will be default pass uh, username and password will be admin admin one two three okay so that's it you need to uncomment it and you need to add the username and password here that's it in the setting.xml save it close it and that's it uh, let me open the readme section okay so i i informed you set up the nexus on your machine then setting.xml i informed you then palm.xml i informed you and then you need to run this deploy command okay this is the command okay just you need to run it okay before that i am just uh, so this here is a deploy the last one this is the last step in maven okay see look at here this is the nexus which i have installed uh, this is the cucumber alpha okay so uh, it's already present because i have already tried this here but just note here look at the time okay it's 2020 0 to 1 to it's a today day 12th feb okay 2020 and look at the time here okay so uh, 095634 okay so ideally these times should get up, uh, updated okay or any other thing from which we can confirm it this has been updated or not so let me open this particular tab and let's see if it show something here ah yeah this is a better so feb 12 1526 yeah this is the uh, uh, you can see the time should get updated here okay the last time i run the time is showing as the last time i use this okay so it's uh, 1526 so let me open the alpha 1 project and paste the command here deploy and just run it so the latest jar should get uploaded to the nexus okay so you can read the logs here okay so uploading to nexus snapshot so this is the path okay so let's open uh, let me refresh so it's 326 so see look at uh, time this time has not been updated but here the time has been updated here uh, something has been changed here Five ten. Here, the the latest jar has been uploaded here. Let me refresh it. Uh, open it. So see, these are the actually set new set is coming here. Look at here. Initially there are only jar one set. So till here it is jar one. Now the new jar is jar two. You can see. So if you run again, so a hyphen three jar should come here. Okay, uh, let's see if it is coming or not. Because the timing is not very clear. So let me recheck again. So doubt will get clear. So you can see till now it's hyphen one jars, hyphen two jars, all that your MD5, SHA, all POM, all this uh, data is coming. We we are concerned about this particular jar, dot jar. Okay.
okay so ideally hyphen 3 should come here let me refresh it cucumber alpha yo here we go see look at here so three set so this has been come just now okay so this is the example i show you that how you can upload your jars to the nexus and it can be reused by other people okay friends so i hope this particular topic is uh, you are able to understand this particular topic especially how we can use the reuse the feature files how we can use the step file and how we can pass the data okay Thank you my friends for watching this particular series and I need to drink water. It's, I'm talking from, I think it's too much. I did a lot of talk. So fine friends, so just let me know if, uh, if anything is not clear. I'm happy to help you. Okay friends, thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.